What's up Chiefs Kingdom, Noah Gray here, tight end for the Kansas City Chiefs. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to Joss's channel and check out showmefootball.com for more. What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Josh Fan of showmefootball.com and arrowheadaddict.com covering your Kansas City Chiefs. And today I wanted to talk about some news that we got from the Kansas City Chiefs. Their official Twitter account tweeted, Earlier today, we have placed wide receiver Sky Moore on the reserve injured list. So this came as a little bit of a surprise to everybody because, well, I mean, when I first saw it, my reaction was like, oh, wait, hold on. He's hurt. What, when did this happen? And I think a lot of people were thinking the same exact thing. They were kind of like, well, when did Sky Moore get hurt? Now, Andy Reid did briefly mention after the win over the Patriots, that Sky Moore had some swelling in his knee. And we saw that Sky Moore didn't play very many snaps. Especially as the game went on, he just kind of disappeared. And apparently the injury that he sustained was bad enough to land him on IR, meaning that he's at least going to miss the rest of the Kansas City Chiefs regular season. But I kind of wanted to take this opportunity to talk about what this means for the Kansas City Chiefs and their wide receiver room going forward, and what I think this means for Sky Moore, because, guys, I I just have a little bit of a theory that the Chiefs made this move not just because Sky Moore it has an injury. I don't think they're making this up. I think he does probably have some sort of thing going on with his knee, but I think the Chiefs are placing him on injured reserve for a multitude of reasons. To me, this kind of feels like an opportunity for the Kansas City Chiefs to go, you know, what? because like, again, I don't think this injury is just a made up thing, but I do think the Kansas City Chiefs are taking an injury that's probably somewhat minor and saying, hey, you know what, this gives us an opportunity to put Sky Moore on IR, to kind of take him out of the equation for right now because this season just has not been good for him. It's not been good for the receivers. And I talked about how a couple weeks ago when the Kansas City Chiefs beat the Las Vegas Raiders and they actually had a good offensive output in that game, uh, one of the things that I think led to a good offensive output was the fact that they shortened the pass catcher rotation. And this season, one of the issues that you can point to with this wide receiver room is that too many guys are seeing the field, too many guys that don't really deserve to see the field as much as they are keep getting all these snaps every single week. Now, Sky Moore's snap count was starting to decrease a little bit already. Now, was that because of this, this injury potentially holding him back? That's certainly possible. But some of the issues that Sky Moore has dealt with this year, I think can be helped with him simply taking some time off. You know, go and nurse your injury, do what you need to do to get physically in shape, and then come back and maybe we can try this again and try to work you into the rotation naturally instead of kind of forcing Sky Moore into this role that he just simply is not capable of being in. Because I think to begin the year, Sky Moore just assumed the role of one of the Kansas City Chiefs starting wide receivers because the Chiefs had high hopes for him and they were banking on him taking a big step. I think at this point in the season, you know, the team understands that Sky Moore isn't taking that step, at, at least not this year. And he may never um, because I've been down on Sky Moore this year. I mean, you guys can listen to my other videos. You know, I'm being pretty cordial in this one, but I haven't been afraid to call Sky Moore a bust. I do think he's a bust. I mean, he's, I don't know how you could call him anything other than a bust at this point. That's not to say it's impossible for him to turn it around, but so far he's done everything that a bust would do. So with that being said, I think the Kansas City Chiefs are taking this opportunity to shelf Sky Moore, and then hopefully he can come back and become a contributor after the Chiefs have already kind of learned to figure out the wide receiver rotation without him. And look, he may come back and they're just like, you know what, we, we don't need you. They may not activate him again. You know, it's not a guarantee that he comes back again this year. But I think the Kansas City Chiefs 
again, are taking this opportunity to take him out of the equation, see if they can figure out something with the other guys, because Sky Moore's had his opportunity this year. And it, it's time to see some other people. It's time to see more Richie James. It's time to try out Justin Ross. I think the Chiefs are thinking the same thing, and that's why they're putting Sky Moore on IR, and they're going to try something else out. I think you're going to see uh, Rasheed Rice continue this rhythm that he's been in for the past couple weeks and getting a large part of the target share. I do think that Richie James will play more, and I don't think it's insane to believe that Justin Ross could be put into this wide receiver rotation and given a chance because, you know, Sky Moore is one thing, but what about Kadarius Tony? Kadarius Tony, sure, the Chiefs will probably go back to him and keep trying with them. I, I think this team uh, is really trying to get him in the right headspace. Andy Reid, Travis Kelsey, they've all been in full support of Kadarius Tony, but he's had his struggles this year too. And so, therefore, you kind of have to try some different things. Kadarius Tony is going to have to have his role rearranged a little bit. And so, you know, shortening this wide receiver rotation again, that's going to open up snaps for somebody else. I mean, somebody else just naturally has to take those snaps. So I'm thinking Justin Ross and Richie James. Those are two guys that I think at this point raise your floor a little bit. Justin Ross, I don't know if he's going to be anything special. But he showed promise at the beginning of the year. He showed promise in preseason. And I'll say this, as long as he's not dropping the ball when he's wide open and creating turnovers, the spot is his to take because that's what Sky Moore and Kadarius Tony are doing. So if Justin Ross can just be sure-handed and maybe try to get open or become a contested catch guy that Patrick Mahomes actually trusts, then... I don't see any reason why he couldn't contribute, even this late in the season, because you're just kind of at that point where you're looking for anything. And then Richie James, we've seen his role start to increase a little bit since he came back from injury. I do really like him as a returner. And then I think he's someone that can do the things that Sky Moore can do. But you eliminate some of the stupid mistakes, I think, with Richie James. And that's why Sky Moore just had to take a seat for a little bit, because even Sky Moore fumbled against the New England Patriots. And he's lucky it got negated due to a penalty uh, on New England for a defensive holding. It was very ticky-tack, though, but that game could have gone a completely different way if a flag wasn't thrown there and that fumble stood. But Sky Moore, I just think this is a time for him to kind of reset. This is a time for the Kansas City Chiefs to reset expectations, try something else, and then when Sky Moore becomes available here in four weeks uh, at the end of the regular season, the Chiefs can determine... Do we think we can bring this guy back and work him in and see if maybe he's ready this time? Or, you know, maybe we just roll with what we have. And then McCole Hardman, too. Like, you know, it's not impossible that he comes back and then there's just not a need for Sky Moore. But I think this gives the Chiefs the most options and this creates a pathway for Sky Moore maybe becoming a contributor in the postseason because I think the way things were going right now, Sky Moore was never going to do anything, and he still might never do anything. But I think this at least gives you a glimmer of hope, uh, Sky Moore going on IR, and it gives you a glimmer of hope that the wide receiver rotation can, can get figured out and the Chiefs can start to address some of these issues. And I think that's why they made this decision to sit Sky Moore or shove him on IR because the guy was just making too many mistakes. It wasn't working something had to be done and this gave them an excuse to do something about it we'll see what this means for the future of sky Moore, though because i have the feeling that if he isn't even activated off ir not even for the postseason that just kind of tells you how they feel about him and then we're potentially talking about sky Moore not being on this team next year but we'll cross that bridge when we get there but i just wanted to share my thoughts with you guys on uh, what this means for Sky Moore, what this means for the Kansas City Chiefs wide receiver room going forward for the rest of the season. But I want to hear from you guys. What are your thoughts on the Kansas City Chiefs placing Sky Moore on injured reserve? Do you agree, disagree with me? Let me know down below. Uh, make sure you like, share, and subscribe so more Chiefs fans can find this. And make sure you check out my work on showmefootball.com and arrowheadaddict.com for more. And I'll see you all in the next one. Go Chiefs!